Today on Uncommonly Good MTG, we are playing with Boros and Volk, featuring some cards from the new set, All Will Be One. Does the smell of magic cards make you irresistible to the ladies? Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Uncommonly Good MTG. I am your host, watch for me in the finale of So You Think You Can Dance, Dr. Yukon Sockett. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. You are too kind. Yukon Sockett. Word to your mama. So I'm broadcasting to you once again from my secret underground headquarters. And I'm bringing to you a deck that I found over uh, on MTG Meta IO off of a tournament list. So this has been played in a tournament and it was put out there by a guy named B. Martinez. And it's called Boros Invoke. And I'm like, ooh, look at that. It's It's got Boros, it's got Invoke, and it has some all will be one cards in it. So some Obi-Wan Kenobi cards in it. So uh, this ought to be interesting and fun. Boros is usually always a fun deck. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the cards super quick, and then we'll take them out, tour them around. We've got, uh, what do we got here? Creature kill and artifact kill. We've got uh, creature kill, planeswalker kill, and the ability to draw cards. This one gets you some lands and eventually gets you a dude that puts out other tokens. This one puts out a treasure troll, allows you to discard and draw some more cards, as well as in a creature copier. Angel of Wrath comes out, badass flying lifelink 3-4 that can potentially shoot for up to four. Wandering Emperor just jumps out and exiles dudes. Big score lets you draw cards and get a bunch of treasure. Uh, Nahiri, the completed, uh, her big thing is to discard a card and draw a card. Every turn, plus, 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 plus. Invoke Justice lets you go back to your graveyard and drag back a permanent directly to the battlefield and put four plus one plus one counters on various creatures or vehicles that you control. Sanctuary comes out with two uh, soldier or not soldiers, with shield counters on it. And uh, she's a flying guy with a 5-5 five five otherwise. You can take them off for a little bit of card draw. Atraxia comes out as a 7-7 seven seven with flying vigilance, death dodge, and lifelink. And you get to have, you look at the top 10 cards of your library and pull back one of each different type from that collection to your hand. So it should give you a nice collection of other cards to play almost immediately. And Portal of Phyrexia comes out, destroys three of your opponent's creatures. And then you can start pulling creature cards out of graveyards directly into the battlefield every upkeep after that. Um, that was a nice collection of lands. So that's the deck. Let's go out and crush our enemies, see them driven before us, hear the lamentation of the women. All right, we are playing against Anali. 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 One, two, three. All right. Lots of red, but this should help us. Keep it. All right, number two is going to right there. Let's just chill. He drew two cards. He did it. Here's a treasure troll for you. Uh, pa 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 pa. The client. All in. Treasure troll action activate. Form of a glittery bobble. 
I can play this, huh? Play next turn. There, each combat if able, discard a card and draw a card. Oh, I don't have mana for that. We play Phyrexian for this, right? There we go. Out of pay! That seems like that's the big meal. Let's just get rid of this card. Exit target creature or equipment with mana value less than the loyalty. Pay a token that's a copy of it. Or anything good in there. All right, Nahiri, let's see what we got going on for you here. Land, huh? All right, it's down to 11. So I can shoot things for, well, do I have black mana? No, I do right there, yeah. So I can do an extra four points of damage, huh? There's a bunch of mites. Auto pay. Is there another one I can get out of this thing? I can't quite tell. This one? There's a bunch of cards. What's he got there? Some stuff he's going to attack with anyway. cards have to go away. One. Two. Three. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. He's choking it back. Kicker! Kicker! Let's pick him off. I see, that's really the best action there. If I get the invoke justice, I can bring these other things back. 
He doesn't have anything good to bring back, though. I guess Henrique is not bad. All right, pass the rock, yo. How's he back up to 20? Alright, welcome to the battlefield, Treasure Troll. I guess I can bring one of these out, and that would just start snacking those things around like crazy. Does it exile it with... Uh, it's like it only... Alright. So I can bring it back out, but I'd lose it forever at that point. One. I should be able to do this, right? Why couldn't I? Oh, I got to draw. All right, that's fine. Draw, partner. Come on, man. Stop doing that to me. And we win. All right, just got to get the hang of this thing. And we're playing against Solomano. Solomano. Keep. Throw that away when we can. There's something that'll let us do it. That's a three. That's a three. And pain lands. Oh, golly gee. Oh, Soli Mano. I'm in a puddle. One. Two. All right, let's go get our one of planes. Yoink. Gone. Nothing to bring back, but here's a treasure troll. All right, so I can have six on my next turn. Interesting. All right. One in, Treasure Troll. It lets it through. All right, and we got ourselves Warden. Oh, could it say off of creatures? All right, okay. So I'm gonna say I think I could grab it off the off the fable there. That'd be pretty cool. All right, we're playing with land, 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 and a treasure troll. 
And we got another land. Not so fast, citizen. Nothing I can do about that. Also, chew right through that exile. Or through the shield, too, is the problem. I'm planning on pulling the same trick, unfortunately. All right, Kiki Jiki, you'll be quite interesting. I never played you on an Architect of Restoration. That is disappointing. Here's a samurai. I got stuff I could bring back that's fantastic. Let's go ahead and put out a sundown pass. And let's just go digging for China. Nice. Let's bump this up. And what can you do here? Get rid of the pain land. That'd be nice. All right. And we got ourselves a portal. Die. Okay. All in for eight. Down to ten. There's another one needs to go in the graveyard. That's what I should have done. Victory! Alright, up against Kuro. Kuro. It's an interesting setup of ours. Keep. All right, so we need three mana to put out in the Huri. There's two. Should have played one of the slow ones. I guess I have the ability to braid. Yeah, portal, put it in the graveyard. I'd appreciate it. And here is the one I wanted, so you suck. You suck! What else can we grab? All right, that's a thing. All 
That looks very much like what I was planning on doing. Let's just try it out myself. Here we go. Big score. Discard a card. All right, what can we bring back here? Nahiri, but why would I care? Doesn't really do a whole lot. You guys, an artifact. This is an instant. That's actually pretty decent. Let's put out. Let's just leave it. We're done. Okay, so if he tries to put out a a dragon, one of those things are, then we will just be a jerk about it. Uh, okay, it's fine. That's fine. Okay, discard that card. Put out mana, invoke our justice, bring back Brug Portal and give it some life. Auto pay. Let's just save onto this for a while. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could have put that out as nine. Right, that's cool. Oh, no, 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 no. Dang it. I don't know why I did that. Okay. Draw. It wasn't my time. Yeah, his shoulder's ability screwed me up. I thought I was going and putting a land out, and instead it forced me to use it, and I just clicked the button. Come on, pass me the rock. Give me priority. I got things to kill. Hey, because shoulder would look really good on my side. Victory! All right, we're playing with Arch. All lowercase. So it's not a name. It's a thing. It's a half circle that braces things up. Two mana. No. Two mana still. All right, let's keep it this time. Please be a cathartic pass some stuff. All right, we get rid of these two. Gosh, I don't want to get rid of that. This one, I guess. Oh, I get Atraxia, who I don't technically want in my hand. All right, we're playing against the enchantments. So step one has to be to kill that. And step two is going to be to pass my turn. All right, there's a four. Let's put out the restoration. We use this two to kill off the naturalist on the next turn.
And a single black. Single black. And now the portrait is even happier. See you later, Archangel. It was nice while you were around. All right, Haunted Ridge. Let's go looking for something cool. Oh, Babel's. All right, Arch, come on, my man. You got a handful of cards. I'm probably going to have to block some stuff here in a second. Might as well. Uh, yeah, let's do something better than this. Nice. But it's like, what is this? Uh, four, five, six. Let's put this out. Draw another card. Cool. All right, all in. That's seven. This will get us some more. Guess who wants to fight? The Sanctuary Warden. She's got a shield. You can kill two of my guys if you want to. I just want to make sure. That's how shields work. And we win! Suck it, suckerfish! Victory! I right, playing against Dactyl Artha. You guys are just going out of your way to give me these names, aren't you? Dactyl Artha. Something about fingers. I don't know. Keep. Oh, let's play the slowest land. Is this? This is a five. That's a six and a two. So means I can play this next turn if I need to. Otherwise, it's slow land time. Might as well play this one because this one will be nice and fast in turn three. Nothing in the graveyard to bring back the Invoke Justice. We're just twiddling thumbs at the moment. What is that thing? Catilda? All right. You're not protection from an instance, are ya? You put down legendaries at the deal? Named guys? I know it's my only card, but there we go. Oh, that's what I want to throw away. Uh, discard a card. Okay, now here he's going to help me out with that. Can I just play this? I guess I can. Cool. 
Yeah, why go through the whole hassle? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, I need a lot of white. Let's just do that. Discard a card, huh? All right, that's who I'm discarding. All right, next turn, we'll slap that out. What, do I not have mana for it? What's it? Oh, because it's protected? I gotta believe you can make up a better decision than that. Oh, that was the wrong move. Who am I thinking of? Jace, that's who I was thinking his deal was. All right. How does this interact with Lysa? Let's draw a card. Those are supposed to be mine, you jerk. What do I got? Four, five, six, seven. And I can't pull anything out, but I can definitely, if I get nine, get someplace cool. Let's bring back Lysa. Now I'm going to big score it. We'll get rid of Fable. I don't even know what this guy does. You can sacrifice him if he wants. I got another. Uh, one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're cool. Let's leave it. Lices over here blowing smoke rings.
Ah, uh, see, my turn, my turn. Grab that one back. Let's have two of them out. And we win. Boom, boom. Goes the room. Increasing power. All right, so here we are with Boros Invoke. Uh, you know, we, we see this deck. It's it doing what, it, what it's done before. Um, the question is, is what does all will, will be one brings to the table? And it's different than what's before. And uh, let's see what that is. So what is different about it here? Well, we're bringing back, we got Nahiri, who helps you to discard a card and draw a card, which helps you to get those things that are up here in the high mana value into your graveyard faster while getting through stuff that's going on. And she only costs you three if you're willing to play the blood price for it, which is not too bad. Still don't understand her zero ability. Let's see. Exile target creature from a card with mana value less than her. Okay, so you have to... It has to be something less to it. So she's got to have big time um, loyalty to be able to fish these guys back at all. But, so what are we really bringing back? Nothing? Is it just her discard and draw card kind of situation? Might be. Might be. She's just one of those draw, card draw engines that involves discard. Cool. That's cool. So the only other thing that's in here that's kind of new is Atraxia the Grand Unifier. And the only problem I have with Atraxia the Grand Unifier is that, you know, it just brings it back to your, your hand, those things you got. You can grab more mana... But ultimately, are you really going to get a lot from the things you got inside here? Eh, hopefully. Like, there's nothing really great going on. All of this is just a setup to try to get out Port of the Phyrexia and then start stealing other people's stuff, I guess. It doesn't seem like there's, like, great in this deck unto itself. Kind of weird. If it reminds me of one of those, those like, uh, steel decks where you just pretty much spend your time just going through other people's decks looking for the their win, win scenario and using it for yourself. All right, so is this deck competitive? The weird answer to that question? Yeah, yeah, it is. I um, Let's see, I, I have an 80% win rate in play. Uh, I have played it six times, lost one, so in, in, including ranked. So whatever that ends up being, this deck won just hand over fist over everything else we had going on. It was just win, 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 win. Now, the big problem is the one I'd lost to was pretty much a mirror match of this same deck. And we played for 20 minutes. And eventually I gave up. I just couldn't handle it anymore. Um, so there you go. So this deck more or less has like a 100% win ratio. Except for when I personally get so bored, I cannot stand it. So competitive? Yeah. Yeah, it does seem to be fairly competitive. Is it fun? And that's where I think it's going to fall off the handle because this deck doesn't do anything great to start off with. And eventually it starts laying down the hammer. But it's just you're spending so much time building to it. And then it gets usually it's over pretty quickly at that point. So I didn't find myself like having fun with the deck. Um, yeah, I guess that's all I can say. I can say. If you like winning, then you will have lots of fun. Because this deck was a big time winner, but it didn't have fun as a means of getting to that win. Was this deck interesting? And yes, I mean, I guess it was the same old Boros and Bulk deck that we are used to. But in this case, with Atraxia and Nahiri coming in, is there anything else that's new? Doesn't look like it. Um, yeah, it was interesting because of that. So, altogether, I'm going to say it's it was a good deck to be able to, to to find our mechanism to bring back those big weird creatures. Don't even have to worry about paying the mana price for it. Um, using Nahiri as that engine, and uh, just getting to where you needed to go as quickly as possible. It was an interesting deck. So was it competitive? Superly so. Was it fun? Nah. Was it interesting? For the most part. So I'm going to give this deck an A minus just because it is it was a good deck for winning but i just 
I was lost in. I, I'm lost in that I just don't think it was as fun as it needed to be. So therefore, it doesn't attract me to come back to it. If we get some other big creatures that have some other fun aspects to it, you know, something for the this row right here. Ah, maybe it's be okay. It's just all the rest of this is just so mundane. It's a little, a little boring right now. So A minus deck. All right. So if you decide to play with this deck, I hope that you have more fun with it than I did. That's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. From all of us here in the underground secret headquarters of Uncommonly Good MTG, have a great day. In the words of my people, be excellent to each other and party on, dudes.